Welcome back to another video everyone. So a couple of days ago I had a message on Twitter saying that I hadn't done a what on earth that I just watched in quite a while and they were right, I haven't done one in about a year. Lucky for you, I found something the other day that made me say what on earth that I just watch. It doesn't happen very often, it's a rare occasion, that's why there's such a long gap in between each episode. I'll tell the story about how I discovered the video in a minute, but let's just briefly go over what it's about. So it's a series that I found from a YouTuber called Teaching Men's Fashion. They have over 5 million subscribers and they're not doing anything bad, the content they make is just fine. I just found this series in particular quite confusing. But you know, it's one of those men's fashion, personal care kind of channels. In his videos, he teaches people how to improve their overall style, their fashion sense, their hairstyles. Now, I used to watch channels like this all the time back when I was 15 trying to become a man, especially Alpha M. He's another one of those types of channels. But uh, I don't really watch them anymore because I feel like I'm at my peak when it comes to fashion. These channels are cool though. They help people out and everything. But I stumbled across this one video on the Teaching Men's Fashion channel. It was called... 22 year old virgin gets a grooming makeover episode 3. Now you might be wondering how did you come across this video and why did you come across this video? Well if you go back to the video that I made at the beginning of this week I actually needed to use a picture of my old hairstyle in it at the beginning. I didn't have that image anymore so I just typed in on google to try and find it easily Polosaurus Rex old hairstyle because I've made a video about it before my videos pop up on google so I was hoping it had just come up. Now when you type that in the video does show up which is what I wanted but I also saw this. It's a reddit post from over a year ago go on my own subreddit uh, and it's just a screenshot of the 22 year old virgin gets a grooming makeover video with the caption found Lewis. Now I don't know what he's trying to say here. Is he trying to say that me and this guy look similar or is he trying to call me a 22 year old virgin because that's just not true. I'm 21. Either way I was interested in seeing this virgin to Chad transformation. So I searched it up. I watched a couple episodes and it was just the most confusing thing ever. It starts off like a vlog. You've got the cameraman recording them as he gets a haircut but then in future episodes after being transformed into a Chad he goes into public trying to be less awkward trying to get a date and then it starts to feel less like a vlog and more like a weird awkward TV show where they just never acknowledge the cameraman even being there. It feels very scripted with their lines and the way that they say them in the later videos. Yo, Jose, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling great on top of the world. Let's get these girls to that. Let's do it. We'll, we'll get into it. Let, let's check it out. We're going to start from the one that I started with and then go from there. You ready, Mike? Yeah. Bro, we're going to change this up completely. So one of the main things we're going to do is definitely add volume to your hair. He's teaching men's fashion. He's the main uh, character here. Uh, uh, it feels like a TV show. We're going to call them characters. Clean you off on the sides, not yeah. too tight. And then definitely give you some volume and bring down some of the weight. Again, right now, though, it does just sort of feel like a vlog. I just want to know, what does teaching men's fashion think about me? What would you rate this outfit? If you, if you are watching watching this video, my friend, what would you rate this fit? If you would have had this on your first date, I guarantee you that girl, she would have been all over you. She would have come for a second chance for a second date too. My dude, he, he feels it already. I'm telling you, once you get a haircut, you feel the confidence just rush through your veins. This I don't because my haircut doesn't fix my gap teeth. This is another thing that gives it that vlog feeling and I thought it was that at the beginning. He's talking to the camera, he's, he's, he's acknowledging that there's a cameraman here. But in episode 4 and 5, that just disappears and it's more of a TV reality show. You ha you've never used, again, that's a mistake probably 99.9% .9 of guys wear or use. And that's mostly because most guys think it's too feminine to use, but this... This is gonna be your new best friend. You know what? My mistake when I was 15 was using a blow dryer. If I didn't have access to one of those devices, I would have never been walking around like this. It's just the fact that people let me walk around like that, you know, without saying, you know what? Maybe you should like not do that. God. That's a female reaction right there. You heard in the back end. He looks good. That's what I'm saying, bro. We should call Alexa, give him a second chance. <laughs> So yeah. next up, bro. I, I don't know how realistic that reaction was, but I will admit teaching men's fashion has definitely improved his haircut. Definitely looking more like a Chad now. And I've just realized why is him being a virgin like even necessary in all of this? Then he clips his eyebrows and gets rid of any loose hairs, gives him some fragrance to make him smell better. What do you think? He smells good. Smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Attractive. Yeah. Without you even seeing him, you're like, damn. There you go, buddy. So now you're attracting a girl on all her senses. It's going to be to a point she's going to want to rip your clothes off. Well, calm down a bit there, mate. I think women are attracted to more than just a haircut and, you know, how you smell. So we want your face to look as perfect as possible and clear. Just, you want perfect skin. That's what women want to see. So I like how all of this is like for women, you know, it's like every single thing that they're doing, is, you know, changing up his hairstyle, making him smell better, you know, plucking his eyebrows. You got to attract her on all her senses. And the one thing most guys forget, Scent. You should be washing your face for the women, not not your own health or you know self improvement. This is gonna be my my best gift I might ever give you. Uh, Nail clippers, use them. Let me guess, 
nail clippers because the women like trim nails. Girls notice the small stuff. Take care of that. Yeah. I can't seem to find episode four, so we're just gonna move straight on to episode five. It's called 22 year old virgin become less awkward. Dude looks like a stud. He's been working out. He looks muscular. He's transformed into a proper chat at this point. So now to practice confidence and to practice not caring what other people think about you, he's given Chad a megaphone and he's told him to go to this like crowded area and just give a 30 second speech. Hello, I am Michael Bower. I am from far, far away from here. I came to speak to you guys today because I never kissed a girl before. I want to know where I can find a girl. Take her out to a party and have a good time. I just think getting a megaphone and saying, I have never kissed a girl before and I'm looking for a girl to take to a party. It just doesn't seem like the best move. But it has to be a woman and good looking. That's what I want. It has to be a woman and good looking because I'm a Chad now and we have to match. How are you guys doing? You guys look really good. Thank you. What's your name? Sierra. Sierra? Hi, how's it going? No? Nah? Come on, I want to talk. Now, none of this really made me say what on earth that I just watched until like the final episode. But you can see like in the couple episodes leading up to that, it starts to get a lot more scripted. Take 22 year old virgin tries to get a girlfriend for the first time, for example. I mean, he's doing parkour in the thumbnail, so I have no idea. I mean. Yo, Jose, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling great on top of the world. Let's get these girls to that. Let's do it. Clearly they were with each other before filming, then they told him to walk back through the door and say that line. But let's go on to the final episode. This is the finale. 22 year old Virgin gets his first kiss from a Maxime model. I saw you guys from in there, you guys are really cute. I just want to come and introduce myself. I'm Michael, what are you guys' names? So the beginning of the video, he gets a girl's number. I think this is the uh, person that he ends up getting his first kiss from. But tell me, in this shot afterwards, why on earth is the cameraman filming? Over, bro, what is up? Dude, I just finished editing that video. 30 girls? 30 girls, man. Teaching men's fashion is just sitting there on his laptop, right? Uh, Michael hasn't even came through the door yet. So how, why was the camera running recording this in the first place? Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Me too. Every shot seems to just be giving me that vibe where it's almost like the cameraman said, action, then it started filming. Look beautiful in this dress. Thank you. I go to my car. This is the reality show thing I was, I was talking about earlier. They're not even paying attention to the cameraman at this point. Thank you. You're welcome, of course. Anything for you. Oh, it's a manual? Yeah, of course. Oh. You know how to drive manual at all? No, I, I don't know. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm a really good driver at manual. I can pretty time. Okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. He said that he's a really good driver at manual, and then he stalled it. I know it's fully scripted at this point, but uh, I don't think that was meant to- I don't think that was part of the script. Hi. Uh, you ready for a good time? What, what? What did the cameraman do? Get in his own car and follow them? Did he get in the back seat after they stopped recording? Where are we going? Uh, just, I got it taken care of. It'll be great. Oh my gosh, you're making me nervous. I want to no. know. There's no I got it. Don't worry about it. Thank you. And no problem. Why did he help her step over a blanket? Like, I mean, I understand like, you know, doing it over like a, a puddle or, or something like that, but a blanket? I mean, was there any hazard here? Or am I just not a gentleman? You know what, maybe I need to go on this show. Maybe I need to go on to uh, teaching men's fashion. He needs to transform me into a Chad. I'm just like trying to put myself in these situations to see whether or not I'm a virgin or a Chad. And in that situation, I probably wouldn't have helped to get over that blanket because it's just a blanket. But this is just showing my flaws, I guess. I'm just not a gentleman. So what do you do? Yes, yeah, so I'm in school right now. I do some kind of uh, forks on the side. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, but enough about me. I want to bore you with my stuff. I want to hear about you. Like, what kind of stuff do you do? I mean, she was the one who asked you. She was interested. I think she wanted to know more a bit about you. Yeah, one thing you should know about me is that I always tell the truth. And speaking of the truth, you're beautiful. Like, you're fucking amazing right now. Well, that was forward, but I can't yeah. say I hate it. <laughs> yeah, can you hate it? How yeah. can you hate a guy with this kind of confidence? Oh my god, how can you hate a guy with this kind of confidence? Oh my. And then at the end, he gets his first kiss. Again, 
fully scripted. They didn't even bother with making it sound natural, uh, and the cameraman again was just in front of them the entire time. It, he wasn't like hiding off in the distance. I think they just gave up towards the end, and it made me say, what on earth did I just watch? Because after seeing a couple episodes, I just had to contemplate. I just had to think about what I just watched. Did I just watch a vlog of this real transformation, or did I just watch a scripted reality show? At the end of the day, it, it technically was a real transformation. He did improve his style from what it was in the beginning episode, and he did improve his confidence and everything, but by the end it was just fake. Like, what was it at the end? Now he doesn't give a shit if people know it's fake, because someone commented saying, such bad acting, but it was funny, and he hearted it. I think it's an example of something that went a bit too far. It probably could have ended a few episodes before that, and I think that's what happened. It started off as a vlog of him transforming, and as it started to get views, they thought, we need to take this further. Let's start scripting episodes where he gets his first date and stuff like that. That's probably why it turned into, you know, that scripted mess at the end. I think it could have just documented his physical transformation and maybe some a, a confidence episode where he goes out and does a few things. But that is going to do it for What on Earth Did I Just Watch Part 8. Teaching men's fashion, if you want to turn me into a chad, uh, give me some tips down below if you're watching this. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all in my next video.